International Women's Day is celebrated annually on March 8th. And ahead of the day, the Hayseas Health Initiative has organized a webinar on the 2021 theme, Women in Leadership, Achieving an Equal Future in a COVID-19 World. In this webinar, our women in leadership positions across several industries, from business to banking, communications to health and development. Executive Director, Hasey Health Initiative, Rhonda Robinson, in her opening speech, lamented that the COVID-19 pandemic has amplified the gender inequality in the society while advocating for a national response to the challenge. The lockdown uh, during the pandemic uh, curbed, to curb the um, virus increased the instances of gender-based violence, of sexual and reproductive health uh, challenges, and seriously affected the women's, uh, women's livelihoods and economic opportunities. A report shared by McKenzie Global Institute um, revealed that women, though women make up less than two-fifths of the global workforce, they have suffered more than half of the total job losses from this crisis. The pandemic-induced poverty surge increased the likelihood of widening the gender poverty gap, meaning that more women will be pushed into extreme poverty than men. If women must rise to the top of their careers, Executive Director at Women in Successful Careers, Whisker, Fabia Ogumeko, says they must be mentored to build their capacity and sponsored for promotion opportunities. So mentoring is important because it develops skills and abilities of an individual through the other soft interventions like coaching, guiding, counselling. It also builds and develops self-esteem and confidence. Mentoring also broadens your professional network. You know, it expands, even if it's just one person, it expands and enables and enriches you by plus one. And in the best and in the best of situations, in, in, it increases you by plus many. You know, it also helps in promoting career advancement by preparing you, the mentee, for higher opportunities. On her part, CEO Aspire Coronation Trust Fund, Osai Alile, gave a presentation on how to finance women-led projects, noting that it's up to women to change the status quo. There are opportunities out there, but we as women must be ready for those opportunities and we must look for them. Nobody comes, gives you, um, there's no entitlement mentality. Um, nobody comes to give you anything, in the, you know, just hands it over to you. We have to be very, very conscious and very strategic about how we finance and how we push our projects out there in terms of our businesses or even projects that we're doing in the communities. According to the Deputy Director of Business, Noah's Ark Communications, Jumo Akinyele, women need sponsorship and career advancement programs to promote networking. She also lists strategies for gender equality in top management positions. Can we have sponsorship programs where you can network, where women are able to show themselves, be, be heard, connect more with people? So at least you, we start to open up. People see what we are made of. People know that we can do these things. They're not just going to say, oh, because I am a woman, she cannot do it. Then you start to peel the layers. You start to see the competencies. You start to see the fact that they can really, really do this. So we need to be able to create these opportunities uh, for cross-networking. The fifth sustainable development goal is to achieve gender equality and to empower all women and girls by 2030. But nine years to the deadline, Nigeria is still a long way off from attaining the feat. These women, however, echo a solution to give more opportunities for women to play in the field of leadership. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.